Trump's lawyer asked if he could speak in court. So the judge asked a very simple question. Do you promise to just comment on the facts and the law? Then without permission or agreeing, Donald Trump began a rant that reportedly he had been practicing four days. And he said, this was a political witch hunt. We should receive funds for what they have taken our company through. They have no documents. They have nothing. I'm not sure the dollar amount would have been that far off if you want to know. I am an innocent man. I have been politically persecuted. This statute is vicious. What has happened here is a fraud on me. The amount of taxes I have paid over this period is close to 300 million. They don't want me here anymore. I have a problem. They want to make sure I don't run again. You have your own agenda. You can't listen for more than one minute. The judge interrupted. There was more to it, but those are some of the key points. And the judge said, Mr. Keis, please control your client. Trump continued to rant saying the DA had a failed run for governor and the judge stepped in and stopped him. Trump got up and quickly left the courtroom, I assume, to go change his diaper. Now, according to reports, he is also planning to have a whole other speech at another location later today. Remember, this was supposed to be delayed so he could be with Melania now that her mother died, except he, you know, didn't have anything to do with the mother when she was ill and it was public. He was busy going to UFC games and hanging out with his lawyer that seems to be a Melania replacement. And now that he's leaving court, he appears to not be hurrying to her side. He's going to do another conference. Honestly, the defense from his lawyer wasn't much better today. For example, at one point, Trump's lawyer complained about the district attorney's feet. It's real. Now, in other MAGA news, the Freedom Caucus is trying to get Mike Johnson to back out of the agreed-upon budget deal, uh, which, I mean, it would just lead to a shutdown, essentially. Which, if they do, I think everyone basically expects the shutdown to just hurt Republicans, especially MAGA. It did last time, and they know that. Republicans in the polls, basically, you know, that it hurt them. They get blamed for the shutdown because they're the cause. Now, Mike Johnson, Mike Johnson has uh, so far denied that he's going to do that. But either way, it seems like the Freedom Caucus has tasted blood. I believe they want one of their own members to be speaker. So I believe no matter what, they're going to attempt to remove him and try to damage America as they do so. Because that's kind of their goal. 